Hey everyone, how's it going? My Trudis here, and today we're going to be doing another playthrough of Zombie Driver. So, uh, in the last video, we finished stage 2, so of course, the next stage is going to be stage 3. So, in this one, we got to evacuate three kids from school, and if we do, we'll unlock a flamethrower so we can toast some zombies. And if we're extra good, the mayor's going to love us, uh, and he's going to give us a limousine. Because, you know, who doesn't want to ride around in a zombie apocalypse with a fucking limousine? Now in the last video we did unlock the sports car, but uh, let's, I don't know, let's just have a look at the stats in it first because it's kind of weak as shit. I mean, it's faster, but faster doesn't necessarily make it better, that just means I'm going to be able to fuck it up faster. So uh, I actually think I am going to go with, uh, just with the good old taxi, I mean, you can't go wrong. Alright, so how much I got left? I got 2.5k left, uh... Yeah, I can't afford anything else, but uh, that's that's pretty good, you know. We want a strong car in the zombie apocalypse, not a fancy, weak as, sh uh, weak as shit car. Alright. The limousine would be nice, though. I can't imagine that's going to be much stronger. I actually did see a video the other day, or actually a while ago, in uh, Barack Obama. He's coming out in his limousine, and he goes over a hill, but the hill's a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too steep so the limousine actually gets stuck in the middle and when they opened up the door you could actually see that there was probably maybe about four inch five inch uh, probably even six inch thick glass on the uh, limousine doors so uh, if our limousine is anything like the one that protects <laughs> Obama we should be right in fact we probably won't need anything else but uh, my hopes aren't very high now it is taking a while to load doop -de doop -de doop -de doop -de doop I am rendering in the background, so that's probably going to make this a little painful for me, but, you know, whatever. You guys wanted longer videos, so hey, this this works in your favor, I guess. Uh, I've actually been thinking about, uh, I don't know, just doing a video, not sure about videos, on uh, this new game that came out, it's called War Inc. Battlezone. It's like a free Steam game, I guess, but it's in beta. It's, uh, it's, it's not the best, but I guess it's kind of one of those games where I could just do, uh, you know, kind of record it and just do a commentary over the top of. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. Also trying to get up some uh, more Killing for videos, but I know it's it's kind of tough because we have to figure out a good way to record it and a good way to get it out to you guys because we can't exactly be, uh, you know, uploading 40 minute long, 50 minute long videos. Um, you know, it's it's just not as fun as, and like, if one of us dies or something, and, you know, if one of us dies at the start of the round, no one really wants to watch us kind of just flying around looking at other people for the next five minutes kind of thing, but, yeah. And holy crap, fucking load already. Hello? Knock, knock, anyone home? Uh, alright, alright, slowly but surely, it will get there. Uh, I'll probably just put up an annotation if you guys want to skip this uh, annoying loading screen. Uh, loading screen. All right, so about 30 minutes later, the game finally starts to load. Ah, uh, finally starts to work. So uh, let's get started. Um, so we are gonna try get the limousine from the uh, mayor's office just because, fuck yeah, limousines pretty much. That's my only reasoning behind actually wanting to get it is just because. Um, it's just a matter of actually being able to get there because. Fucking hell, you can't drive through these fucking walls, why not? Oh god, oh god, it looks like I'm getting chased by zombie deers. Are they deers or dogs? I don't know, oh fuck, okay, there's tanks, there's tanks, like, off left for dead or whatever it is. Okay, I'm just gonna keep driving, pretend I didn't see them, and hope that they didn't see me, even though I kind of just ran through the fucking middle of them. God damn, alright. So I'm not actually sure which checkpoint I actually have to go to to get the limousine. I'm going to assume it's the Red Skull, but you know, whatever, let's see what happens. Just while we're on the topics of death, um, during that 40 minutes of me waiting for this game to load, I mean, fuck me, what game takes 40 minutes to load? I mean, i got a really good computer, but my hard drives, man, my hard drives are from the fucking Stone Age. I'm not even kidding, they're so old. But whatever, ooh, limousine. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. That was bad. I just like lost half of my health in one go. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, on the topic of death, in that 40 minutes of uh, me kind of just fucking around doing nothing really, waiting for this game to load, I watched an episode of Sexy Phil. 
And there was these fucking three kids in America. Their mom wanted to play a game of Yahtzee with them. The oldest one, just, he lost it. He just completely fucking snapped. Put a bag over her face, and then locked the bag off with a fucking belt, choked her to death. Then they kept her in the house in a fucking garbage can until Easter. From Christmas to Easter, they kept her there. How fucked up is that? What is... Uh, what the fuck is wrong with this world, man? Anyway... I think we just scored ourselves a limousine, so, you know, no matter what's wrong with the world, it doesn't matter because we have a fucking limousine. Let's go rescue these fucking school kids. Um, Alright. How much ammo do I have? Ooh, I still have 78 ammo, so I should be able to take these guys out nice and easily without taking too much damage. Ah, uh, it feels good, man. It feels good. Oh shit, I just wasted all my ammo there. I like how when you run out of ammo, the, the chain guns, they just fall off your car. It's ineffective design there. It's all good though, we're almost done. In this video, um, I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to die, I wasn't sure like, if this game difficulty was going to actually up or anything, and it still seems to be pretty easy, so it's probably still going to be a pretty short video. But I guess because of the long ass loading times, it lasted a little bit longer. Alright. Beat the horn. These are big primary school kids. Did you really come to save us? The soldiers that came in the helicopter didn't try to rescue us. They were searching for something that the school Fuck that. If you heard really screams from the basement, I, I wouldn't want to stay there. Then again, we're getting attacked by like retarded zombie dogs with deers. I don't even know what they are, so going outside is probably not much of an idea either. So good. Slowly but surely get through them. I drift around the corner and take some out. Oh, I, I, <laughs> ah, that sucks. I, I hit one zombie and then I just come to a complete halt. Right, where are we going? Yep. Alright, I'll pick up some health before I go back. And boom, stage 3 done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And, you know, favorite, subscribe, all that other good stuff. But, yep, yeah, that's stage 3 of Zombie Driver. Um, with the second objective complete. Now, for the next video, I guess, um, just leave a comment below. What car do you want me to use and what weapon do you want me to use? We've got the, uh, the taxi, the limousine, and the sports car. And the weapons we have is the, uh, the flamethrower, the machine gun, and the, uh, the nitrous oxide boost. So that just means you kind of get super speed with your car. And you can fuck zombies up faster. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And when, I don't know, when we have a few votes in, I guess I'll do the next video. Catch you later. Enjoy.